Hey, we are live. I uh, am wanting to come to you because I have just been notified and I'm watching, I'm looking right now. I had to pull off the side of the road again uh, because this is news that is uh, really honestly hard to grapple with. We have, two weeks ago, Governor uh, Newsom here in California said that you are no longer allowed to sing in your church. You couldn't even sing. And uh, there are a lot of churches that uh, immediately said, nope, we're not going to do that. I'm singing anyway. I don't care. So uh, this last weekend at my local church, we sang. Newsom said, you cannot sing. We sang. And now it is right now uh, 2 11, and we're talking 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. 20 minutes ago, uh, the state of California has shut down churches. Done. No more. And I want to bring you this is breaking news. This just happened 20 minutes ago. 1 41, I'm sorry, 30, 30 something minutes ago, 20, 30 minutes ago, 29 minutes ago. Uh, let me read to you. Let me show you the actual website. The county, uh, the California COVID-19 website just happened. Governor Newsom shut down churches again. This is uh, July 13th right now. Uh, let me take you to it. Here is, I'm going to go to my uh, computer. Here is the actual website, covid19.gov, uh, as you can see. County data monitoring, and it shows right here, California is monitoring COVID-19 closely, blah, 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 blah. Effective, here it is, 13th January, or July, uh, July 13th, 2020. What is today? July 13th, 2020. This was, and I'm not kidding you, like I said, 141, it is now 212, uh, just a few minutes ago. Effective July 13th. Uh, 2020, all counties must close indoor operations in these sectors. Dine-in restaurants, wineries, tasting tasting rooms, movie theaters, family entertainment centers, bowling, blah, 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 zoo, uh, zoos, museums, card rooms. Now, here, here, here's, here's the church's thing. Additionally, bars, uh, brew pubs, breweries, pubs must close all operations both indoor and outdoor. Counties that have remained on the county monitoring list. For three consecutive days, we're required to shut down the following industries' activities unless they can be modified to operate outside or by pickup. Fitness centers. So I'm no more working out. <laughs> I enjoyed it while it lasted, but it's it's done. Uh, worship services, done. Protests, done. Uh, offices for non-essential sectors. Personnel, care services like nail salons, uh, body waxing tattoo parlors, hair salons, and barbershops and malls closed. So basically, exactly where we were, uh, you know, have been for the last few months, we're back at it in California. This is unbelievable news. I, I am actually frustrated. I'm really upset about this. They tried to shut us down a couple of weeks ago, said, no more singing in your churches, you Christians. Singing! But I can go and protest and sing, you know, Black Lives Matter or whatever you want to sing, but you can't sing in a church? Now, we're not allowed to have worship services. Unbelievable. Unbelievable news. Uh, you know, I had gone to my gym uh, the last three, three or four, probably the last week or so, I had been going to my gym. And they are now making me wear uh, gloves as I go to the gym in California. And now to stop the whole thing, now we aren't doing anything. I'm telling you something. God is separating the, the faithful from the fake. He's separating the lackadaisical from the faithful. This is the time as, that you and me as Christians need to rise up at some point. You're going to have uh, the lazy separated from uh, the, 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 the people like you and me that are not lazy. Uh, God is looking for a church that is powerful, like the book of Acts church. I want to be a part of that church. I'm sick and tired of them telling us what we can and can't do. Sick of it. Sick of it. This is huge news that California decided no more churches. Now, it's not just targeting churches. They're targeting everything. They're shutting the whole thing down. Newsom is not 
uh, what I would call somebody I want to hang out with. Newsom, Newsom is up to no good. We know he's a globalist. Uh, he's just not on. I'm not on his team. And uh, now we see churches have been shut down. Uh, I know that uh, people I know are, are affected by this. Uh, you're talking about restaurants closed down again. You're talking about so many pe- malls. I think it's interesting that they actually put the word protests on here. So now you can't protest. It's against the rules to protest. <laughs> I just think that's, that's almost hilarious. But uh, according to my constitution, I'm allowed to worship God freely and I'm allowed to petition the government for a redress of grievance. According to the constitution. So don't tell me I'm not allowed to, Newsom. Anyway, breaking news. Today is July 13th. It's 2.16. And I just read, right now, let me take you to it again. Breaking news, July 13th, 1.41 p.m. So that's now, you know, a little over 30 minutes ago. California has stopped and closed down the entire state again. Dine-in restaurants, and there you have it, worship services right there. Unbelievable news. Uh, hey, Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back for a bride called by his name, a powerful, glorious church. Right now is a great time to get involved with God, become closer to God now. If, if you've been waiting around, if you've been waiting around to figure out when it's time to do it, now is the time to be close to God. You can be born again today. Watch my DVDs exposing the intersection of tradition versus truth. And don't lie to me. And I talk to you about how to be born again right now. It's so important to be born again because Jesus said, you, uh, if you are not born again, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So anyway, breaking news. Had to bring this to you guys. Love each and every one of you. Stay close to God. You need to stay close to God. God, help me to stay close to you. Help me to hear your voice. Hear you, God, and be led of you every day in Jesus' name. Hey, this stuff's important. Why? Because power is knowledge and the lack of it is death.